Glass in Greencastle this evening after residents say someone shot out more than a dozen car windows. And that happened throughout the city. As Fax 59's Max Lewis shows us now, as police investigate, the car owners are left cleaning up a pretty expensive mess. You can still see the glass on the ground here from where one of those car windows was busted out. Neighbors here tell me it happened to not just one, not just two, but five different cars in this block alone. This is what college student Savannah Junkin found when she got up on Sunday morning. Her rear driver side window shattered overnight. I like look at my window, I'm freaking out because my first thought is they broke in, they tried to get something. But she noticed nothing was taken, so she picked up the phone and called police. They're telling me that 15 different cars around the city got shot out with BB guns. <laughs> Neighbors shared these photos of several other cars parked on Savannah Street with their windows also shot out. But this wasn't the only spot. Just a few streets away, a family had two of their cars shot up. Could have been a lot worse. David Frost lives on that same street and found the damage to his truck when he came home from church. I was talking to the neighbors and then I decided, well, I better take a look. Sure enough, I'd been shot at a couple times. Lucky for him, the BBs missed his window but still left their mark. You work, try and have nice things, and somebody's going to take that away from you, you know. Luckily, his insurance is picking up the bill, but his neighbor told us he has to shell out two grand to get his window fixed. Back across town, Savannah Junkin's parents are helping her out with the repair, but she knows others aren't so lucky. Their insurance is not going to cover it. They're not going to have somebody who's going to be like, oh, I'll pay for it real quick and it's going to be a hit to their pockets. Neighbors suspect it was teenagers who were messing around and decided to go on a shooting spree across the city, but the victims say this is no laughing matter. I wish parents would keep track of their kids a little better. If we never find out, that is what it is, but they're going to have to live with that. In Greencastle, Max Lewis, Fox 59 News. We reached out to the Greencastle Police Department for some information on these incidents, but never heard back. Meanwhile, neighbors are asking people to check their security cameras to see if they caught anything and want anyone who knows something to please come forward. Arrests made nine months after 